Uh, hey guys, um, this is my 400th video, and as I promised you guys, for my 400th video, I would do something special, and um, what I thought of doing is showing you guys my Blu-ray collection. Now, I don't really have too many Blu-rays, I have a little bit over a hundred, so it's not as amazing as everybody, like everybody else is here on YouTube, I don't have them in any type of order. The only order I have them is by new number, new number, and my Quentin Tarantino movies are in order, but that's about it. No alphabetical order or anything. So, yeah. Um, I'll probably end up doing another Blu-ray collection in the future once I have more Blu-rays. Once my whole shelf, or once my whole thing is filled up, but I probably won't be into my 500th video. So. Yeah, but today I'm going to show you guys what I have on my Blu-ray collection, so as I promised you guys for my 400th video, so yeah, let me get started. So yeah, first movie I have over here is at 8 Mile, great movie, fucking love this movie, Eminem was great in it. Uh, not this, 9, pretty good animated movie, not too long though, it's like a little bit of for like an hour and 20 minutes or so, so, but still a pretty good movie. 12 Years a Slave, great fucking movie. Really did like this one. 21 Jump Street, I actually cannot wait for the Blu-ray of 22 Jump Street. Definitely I'm getting that one, but this is a really fucking hilarious movie. The second one was just as good. 28 Days Later, great zombie movie, um, I actually have been looking for 28 Weeks Later, but I cannot find it anywhere, at least a Blu-ray version, I have seen the DVD version a lot in stores, but I am still looking for 28 Weeks Later, but this is a great zombie movie. 127 Hours, one of my all-time favorite movies, uh, James Franco, great actor, really did a good job in this movie. Um, it's about, of course, uh, Aaron Ralston and when his hand got stuck between a rock and a wall. Great fucking movie. Definitely check this out. 300. Really fucking bloody war movie. Uh, uh, definitely worth watching. Really fucking love this movie. Uh, 300 Rise of an Empire. I, ha I have seen this movie in theaters and... It was good, but I wouldn't say it's better than the uh, first one. It is good, but not as compared to the set, first one. It's not as good as the first one, but still worth watching. Now my Quentin Tarantino movies are uh, Reservoir Dogs. Pretty pretty good movie. Not one of Quentin Tarantino's best in my opinion, but still really good. A really good movie. Um, Pulp Fiction, one of my all-time favorite Quentin Tarantino movies. Bruce Willis, Christopher Walken, Uma Thurman, Samuel L. Jackson, and um, John Travolta. Really fucking great movie. One of my all-time favorite Quentin Tarantino movies. Um, From Dusk Till Dawn, Quentin Tarantino didn't really direct this one, but he starred in it, so I had to put it in with his... Uh, with my Quentin Tarantino Blu-rays, um, really great fucking zombie movie, uh, Danny Trejo did an appearance in it, really fucking great movie, vampire movie at least, um, Kill Bill Volume 1, this is the only Quentin Tarantino movie where he has a sequel to it, but, uh, really fucking great kung, kung fu movie, uh, I, oh yeah, I didn't mention Jackie Brown, one of, not one of, Tarantino's best. Uh, Reservoir Dogs is better than this one, but still a pretty decent movie. Did Kill Bill Volume 1. Kill Bill Volume 2. Uh, one of the few movie sequels where it's better than the first one. Great fucking movie. Great action scenes. It's just fucking great. Really love this one. Glorious Bastards. Uh, Nazi Germany movie. Great movie. Right here. Django Unchained, which is Tarantino's longest movie, I believe. Uh, Jamie Foxx, Christopher Walsh, DiCaprio, Samuel L. Jackson. Great fucking movie. One of the first Quentin Tarantino movies I saw in theaters. Uh, don't make fun of me, but Princess and the Frog. This is one of 
the this movie was when I got it when around the time I first got my Blu-ray. But yeah, usually I never really did watch this one. Honestly, I watched it when I first got my Blu-ray, but that's because of my brother and um, usually I just play whenever I have like family, like my cousins or little kids over. Uh, cause I have little. Uh, kids in my family, so like cousins and all that. So you see, this is playing when they're over. Um, Forrest Gump, great Tom. Oh crap, fell over. Forrest Gump, great Tom Hanks movie. Really love this one. Run, Forrest, run. Great movie. Um, The Ring. Shit, all these are falling down. Anyways, The Ring, great horror movie. Really enjoyed this one. Definitely would recommend it. Um, it's about the one, uh, a lot of movies have parodied it too, so, um, like scary movie and shit, so, uh, Avatar, um, and I know this was a movie that a lot of people, uh, loved, but honestly, I did not like this one, I almost fell asleep watching it, I did not enjoy this movie, honestly, um, but that's just me, uh, uh The Avengers, great superhero movie, really fucking great. Uh, one of my all-time favorite superhero movies, too. Uh, Sleepy Hollow, a great Tim Burton movie. Uh, um, I love Tim Burton. Johnny Depp was in it. Really dark movie. Fucking loved it. Great Tim Burton movie. Another one from Tim Burton and Johnny Depp, Ed, Ed Wood. Um, about the director, Ed Wood. Really fucking great movie, I believe. Yeah, it won, won two Academy Awards, and I can see why, because it is a fantastic movie, especially by Tim Burton. And I love the black and white on it, too. It really does fit the movie perfectly. Wanted, great action-packed movie. Definitely would recommend it. Friday, have not seen the sequels, do not own the sequels, I only own the first one, I am looking for the sequels on Blu-ray too, but really hilarious movie, Ice Cube, Chris Tucker, uh, yeah, uh, Secret Window, great Johnny Depp movie, um, based on the Stephen King novella, uh, would definitely recommend this one if you're looking for a good, like, fun thriller movie. Uh, Messengers, Chris and Stewart, this was before Twilight, like a year before Twilight, so, and honestly, before Twilight, outside of the Twilight movies, I think she does a good job in these type of movies, like the thrillers, I would definitely recommend this one. Um, Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter, I know that this movie got a lot of bad reviews, or like mixed reviews. But I definitely did enjoy this one. I fucking loved it. When I first watched it, I was like, holy shit, this is a good movie. So, um, yeah. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I like it. Uh, Shutter Island, another DiCaprio movie I have over here. Um, definitely, definitely a pretty cool movie. Uh, nothing really too special. Uh, nothing I can really say about it, but still... Uh, you know, a fun movie. Then over here I have my Walking Dead uh, season, season one, season two, three, and four. Uh, I am really enjoying season five so far, uh, but this is my, one of my all time favorite TV shows right here. Uh, Three. Definitely enjoyed this TV show. One of the only few TV shows I actually follow. Um, I mean, I still watch other TV shows, but you should, like Bates Motel or Breaking Bad. But I usually just watch those on Netflix. This is the only TV show I actually do watch on TV. So like, keep on catching up. So um, let me just move these over here so that I get. Amazing Spider-Man. I do want to buy Amazing Spider-Man Part Two. Iron Blu-ray, but I'm gonna wait for the price to kind of go down on it Because uh, I know it's now it's like 25 24 dollars So I'm gonna wait for for the price to go down for part two, but really good movie really did enjoy this one I still enjoyed the Tobey Maguire spider-man movies, but this one's really good too haunted house again to buy the blu-ray for part two I'm a 
while I'm gonna wait for the price to go down but I like this one a little bit better than the second one but the second one I still enjoyed I know it everybody hated it but I I enjoyed the second one first one better is better of course uh, lovely bones great fucking movie one of my all-time favorite movies too uh, I remember first seeing it in theaters and I was like holy shit this is a great movie uh, the Crow, haven't, honestly, haven't seen this one since I reviewed it, but from what I remember, I really did enjoy it, really did how dark it, did, really did like how dark it was and shit, but from what I remember, it was a great movie. Da Vinci Code, I am going to review this one once I watch it, and it's like three hours long, and honestly, I don't really have three hours, so, I'm, uh, it's been a while since I watched it, but, yeah. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. I got this one for my birthday a while, like a few years ago. So I'm going to, well, I'm not reviewing the Harry Potter movies yet. What I'm going to do is try to review one through five, review six, and then seven part one and seven part two. Um, but I, what I remember this one, I kind of did enjoy. So what I'm going to probably end up doing is since I cannot find the Blu-ray versions of the f first five Harry Potter movies, I'm going to probably borrow them from my library, so, yeah, Hunger Games, great movie, I only read the book halfway, but I really did enjoy this movie, Hunger Games, Catching Fire, again, great fucking movie, just as great as the first one, um, definitely would recommend it, um, Lords of Salem, great Rob Zombie movie, uh, not really a big fan of Rob Zombie, but this was a pretty good movie. Uh, the Shining, classic horror movie, loved it. Uh, Conjuring, I remember seeing this in theaters and I was thinking, holy shit, what a great horror movie. Because, of course, it was released and then, you know, recently, and it's one of the best horror movies to come out lately. Um, Evil Dead. Uh, I actually do enjoy the sequels a little bit more, but it was still a pretty decent movie. I have a friend that's a really big Bruce Campbell, well, Evil Dead fan, but... Uh, Evil Dead 2, a little bit better than the set, uh, first one, really did enjoy it. Um, Army of Darkness, the third Evil Dead movie, not as good as the second one, but better than the first one, I gotta say, really did enjoy it. Then Evil Dead remake, really did enjoy this one when I first saw it in theaters. Really great fucking movie. Um, Silence of the Lambs, I still gotta watch the sequels. I know one of them is on the on Netflix, but once I see those, I'll review them. But this is a great horror movie. Uh, Kick-Ass, funny as hell, great superhero movie. It's not as well known as like... Batman or anything or Spider-Man, but still a pretty great movie uh, Kick-Ass 2 really did like Jim Carrey in this. I heard they're making a third one Which I hope they are because I love these movies. They're the Kick-Ass and Kick-Ass 2. They're great fucking movies um, Machete great action-packed movie Danny Trejo, Robert De Niro uh, Jessica Alba great fucking movie Action packed. I'm not really a big fan of action movies, but this one was actually really fucking good. Uh, Machete Kills, not a. God damn it. One second. Um, sorry, it fell. Anyways, uh, Machete Kills, not as good as the first one, but still a pretty cool action movie. It doesn't take itself seriously, but I really did enjoy this one. Uh, Batman. Uh, I honestly do like these. Then Tim Burton's uh, Batman movies are a little bit better than the Christopher Nolan ones. Even though I do enjoy the Christopher Nolan Batman movies, I still prefer the Bat the original Batman from you know Tim Burton's vision. Batman Returns, of course, I have to have this. I really did enjoy these two movies. They're m one of my favorite superhero movies. Then Batman Begins. Um, uh, let's see, Dark Knight and Dark Knight Rises. These three movies I did enjoy, but I enjoyed the Tim Burton Batman movies a little bit more. But these are still great fucking action-packed movies. So, I mean, uh, not saying that these are bad, you know, compared to the 
Burton movies, but uh, Tim Burton's one of my all-time favorite directors, so, but these are still great fucking movies, you know, so are these, but, the, you know, we really do like these Batman movies, um, Shaun of the Dead, great zombie parody, really did enjoy it, funny as hell, um, Shawshank Redemption, funny as hell, or not funny as hell, sorry, I was thinking of Shaun of the Dead still, great prison movie really did enjoy it um charlie and the chocolate factory a lot of the people didn't like this one they preferred the willy wonka version but i i understand why but i still really did enjoy this movie uh really did like it um ted funny as hell seth MacFarlane movie um i also did watch million ways to die in the west which i don't have fortune unfortunately but this one ted was a little bit better than um, million ways to die in the west but this movie is funny as hell really did fucking enjoy this movie um then here i have um friday the 13th and friday the 13th part two uh pretty good um uh, horror movies uh, not a big fan but still enjoyed them halloween michael myers of course um What's it called? I prefer the Saw movies, you know, Jigsaw, but these are pretty decent movies, too. Halloween is probably one of my all-time favorites. Um, Carrie, I have seen the original, don't have it, but still enjoyed this one a little bit more. Uh, American Psycho. Um, uh, of course, Christian Bale, really enjoyed this one. Argo, great movie. V for Vendetta, my all-time favorite movie. Really do want to read the graphic novel. One of my all-time favorite movies right here. Uh, great Tur Grant Torino, uh, Clint Eastwood, great movie. Bad Grandpa, funny as shit movie. I swear to God, I could not stop fucking laughing throughout this movie. It is fucking... Um, Wolf of Wall Street, Leonardo DiCaprio, loved it. Great movie. DiCaprio should have fucking won an Oscar for this. Um, this is a hilarious movie. James Franco, Jonah Hill, Chris, um, Danny McBride, Craig Robinson, Michael Cera, Emma Watson. Great fucking movie. Terminator, classic action movie. Ter Terminator 2, great fucking Schwarzenegger movie. Better than the first one. Terminator 3. Rise of the Machines, um, not as good as the first two, but still has a pretty great action scenes. Terminator Salvation, not as good as the first one, second one, not as good as the third one, but still enjoyable. Really love the action scenes. Pirates of the Caribbean, Curse of the Black Pearl, love these movies. I am a big, 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 big fan of the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. I heard that they're making a fifth one. I hope that's true, because I fucking love these movies. Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest. A lot darker than the second one. Enjoyed it a little bit more than the... F or, a lot darker than the first one. Enjoyed it a little bit more. Um, Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, World's End. Probably the darkest Pirates movie. Enjoyed it. Pirates of the Caribbean and Stranger Tides. Not as great as the first three, but still a pretty decent pirate movie. Uh, really did enjoy it. And I know that not many people liked it, but I loved it. Uh, Goodfellas. Great Scorsese movie. Uh, Gladiator. Great Russell Crowe movie. This is the version where it's like has a three-hour un um, unrated cut, but this is a this was a great movie uh braveheart another three hour movie mel gibson still really did love this movie uh, the godfather really fucking classic movie enjoyed the hell out of it i remember watching it in my cinema study class in high school for the first time and i was like holy shit is this a great movie uh, Godfather Part 2, better than the f first one. I gotta say, I really fucking enjoyed this movie. It's three and a half hours long, but it's three and a half hours of pure genius. Uh, uh, Disturbia, great Child of Buff movie. I'm not sure if about the reviews it got, but I enjoyed it. 
Scarface, three hour movie, great fucking movie, Al Pacino, three fucking great. Ah, uh, Platoon, haven't seen it in a while, but I remember really did liking it. Um, Mama, one of my all time favorite horror movies. Uh, one of my favorite movies of 2013, really enjoyed it. Um, Mirrors, a pretty decent horror movie, not, you know, the greatest, but still a pretty decent horror movie. Then we get down to the left shelf. Here I have my monster tab, cologne, a lock, whatever. Um, let me just move this. Uh, Trick or Treat, pretty fun movie. Um, Beetlejuice, my, one of my favorite Tim Burton movies. Jaws, great horror movie. Devil's Rejects, a great zomb Rob Zombie movie. Boys and Boy in the Striped Pajamas, really fucking depressing movie. I swear to God, it is so depressing. Um, Dumb and Dumber cannot wait for the second movie. And, you know, later this month, R really cannot wait. F hilarious movie. Um, Jim Carrey is one of my all-time favorite actors. The Mist, great horror movie. Sweeney Todd, Demon Barber of Fleet Street. Great Tim Burton movie. I fucking love this movie. One of my all-time favorites. R Zombie Hunter. Stupid movie, but it's one of those stupid, enjoyable movies. Um, buried. Suspenseful movie. Really liked it. Uh, Great Gatsby. Uh, this is, of course, as you can see, the DiCaprio version. Um, really did enjoy this one. I, I liked it a little bit more better than the... Wolf of Wall Street, but uh, it's probably one of my favorite movies of 2013, next to Mama. End of Watch, great fucking movie. I remember seeing this in theaters, and uh, I almost fucking cried at the end. Really fucking great, depressing movie. Then the number 23, Jim Carrey, of course. Great fucking movie. I know that not many people liked it, but I thought it was a great movie. So yeah, this is pretty much my Blu-ray collection. Um, as I said before, I'll pretty much update you guys on on it within the next hundred videos, of, you know, which will be probably in next year or so. But once I get more, I'll probably that that's when I'll probably end up uh, updating you guys with it. But yeah, this is my entire Blu-ray collection for now. And it's all, talking about The Walking Dead, I have this Walking Dead poster right here, which it. It's from the season three. The light's kind of like shining on it, but it's a great fucking poster. But yeah, this is my entire Blu-ray collection for now, and I'll see you guys later.